Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on the CFA Level 1 exam for June 2015. In this presentation, we look at security market line, a very important topic for the exam. Now what is the security market line? It is simply the graphical representation of the capital asset pricing model equation. Here we have the CAPM equation which tells us that the expected return of an asset equals the risk-free rate plus the beta of the asset times the market risk premium, which is equal to the difference between the expected return on the market and the risk-free rate. Note that the CAPM is a linear equation. We know from high school math that a linear equation is of the general form y equals mx plus b. We can rearrange this CAPM equation into this form and we have expected return on the asset as y, the market risk premium as m which is slope of the line, beta a as x and the risk-free rate as B, which is the intercept on the y-axis. Now this will get a lot clearer on the next slide when we look at the graph. Here's the graph of the security market line, which again is just a picture of the CAPM equation. We have expected return on the y-axis or the vertical axis we have beta on the horizontal axis or x-axis and this line is the security market line. This graph tells us that when beta is equal to zero, the expected return is 2%. Now this must be the risk-free rate. How do we know that? Well, we just go back to this CAPM equation. And we know that when beta is equal to zero, the expected return is simply the risk-free rate. Right here. If you look at point A on the security market line, it corresponds to a beta level of one and an expected return of 8%. We can look at any point on the security market line and, and it will tell us the expected return for a given level of risk. We can look at point B. For a beta of 1.2, we have expected return of 9.2%. As we saw on the previous slide, the slope of the security market line gives the market risk premium. To compute the market risk premium, we simply select two points on the security market line and compute the slope. For example, if we select points B and A, we can easily compute the slope or the market risk premium. Here we have the slope or the market risk premium as 6%. An interesting point is what happens if beta is negative? Well, the security market line will keep extending to the left of the Y axis, which means that the expected return would be less than the risk-free rate of 2%. Why would anybody want to invest in an asset whose expected return is less than the risk-free rate? Well, such an asset would be very attractive to an investor for diversification benefits. Because the beta of this asset is negative, this asset will go down in price when the market portfolio is going up and vice versa. Therefore, an investor can use this asset to bring stability to their portfolio. Another important thing to note is that some assets might not plot on the security market line. For example, let's say we have point C, which represents an asset. What can we say about this asset? Its level of risk is 
measured by beta. But the expected return is considerably less than 9.2%, which is what we have at point B. This asset C is overvalued and its price must go down so that its expected return can increase to 9.2%. In general, any point that plots below the security market line is overvalued and its price must go down so that its expected return can increase. On the other hand, let's say we have point D. It has a beta of one and an expected return of 9.2%. What can we say about this asset? We know that for a beta of one, the expected return is 8%. Therefore, asset D is undervalued and its price must increase so that its expected return can decrease. Again, for the exam, any point that plots below the security market line is overvalued and any asset that plots above the security market line is undervalued. So just remember, above security market line, undervalued. Below security market line, overvalued. Now this brings us to an end of this presentation. If you found the video useful, please make sure to like it and to subscribe to our channel. Please let us know if you want us to make a free video on a topic of your choice. Thanks very much for watching and we wish you the best of luck on the exam. Thank you.